Tori, many congratulations here at the Lakeside. Made slightly hard work of it though at the end. <laughs> Oh, I was just thinking, just hit that double. And I just hit that double, what are you doing? And then I was like, don't let it get to you. Just, you know, she hit that double 10. And I was like, all right, we're going to reset now. Just just finish it. We don't want a third set. Just finish the thing. Um, so when that double five went in, was it double five? See, adrenaline. <laughs> I don't even remember. But as soon as that double went in, I was like, ah, relieved. So now I'm stoked. Can you relax into the tournament now? The first hurdle is always the worst in, in any tournament. Do you feel settled now and you're involved in the tournament properly? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you've got a game up there, first time up, the, up on that stage. Um, I know what it feels like, you know, it's a bit warm, a bit how I'm used to, um, kind of. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's just, I'm just stoked. I can't even believe it, to be honest. <laughs> Different experience the last time. It was at the Indigo when you were, you were the stand-in, so to speak, due to Trina not being able to play, and you, you got the late call to play bow. Completely different emotions coming here, I'm guessing, as getting your spot out right. Yeah, well, it's preparation, isn't it? So um, coming in, I had a, had a bit of time to... And then the postponement kind of worked in my favour. Um, to kind of, it's not even just practicing, it's the mental preparation and getting yourself ready to come over and it's definitely a lot better and I felt a lot more comfortable here than I did at the Indigo for sure. Dieter up next, the number one seed, but in terms of seeds, Dieter is a legend of the sport obviously, mm -hmm. but we all know and she makes it clear and I'm guessing you know where I'm going with this by the smile on your face, her record on that stage isn't what it should be, mm -hmm. so to speak, and do you feel that you can play on that and, and really have an attacker? Oh, I'm not too sure. I think it's it, it can go either way. It can all like go, you know, play on her head a little bit. She hasn't won a game up there. Uh, she hasn't won a, the championships or anything like that. Um, but then again, it'd be like she might be a bit hungry. So I don't know. I just play the board instead of play the player. Try and play my best game and hopefully get the win. Ladies darts in the UK especially is really booming right now. What's it like in Australia in comparison, the, the ladies scene? Um, well, we're, we're kind of still getting back to it. Um, but like obviously before all the the pandemic and all that stuff. We've got some really, really good players. Um, the depth, probably not as much as here, of course, um, but some of the players out there can really mix it up here with, with me and the and the girls over here. So hopefully a little bit more opportunity will come for the Australian dart players, but we've definitely got some talent there for sure. You see the likes of Lisa Ashton, Fallon, Sherrick, Makuru and Bo really setting the standards. How much can you take from them and how much of an inspiration are they to you? Oh, you've got Lisa, she's a really good friend of mine and, and I take every kind of uh, advice and everything that she brings to the sport, I, I take on and you've got, you know, a, a ton of great players up there, but um, you just take what you can. But the, what they're doing for women's sport right now and women's darts is, is something that we've never had before and um, we're getting recognised for the, playing, the players that we are. We've, we've got some really great ladies out here and we're finally being showcased and, and set to a great standard. The PDC Women's Series taking off and the, and the PDC back and the ladies more and more. Obviously, I know you're the other side of the world and it's going to be tough, but would it, is it going to be possible for you to come over and play in any of those PDC ladies' events to try and progress your game further? Uh, you never say never. Um, I try not to set anything in stone because you never know what's going to happen. Um, I mean, it'd be it'd be good, it'd be great to come over here and just get, get a taste of it for sure, um, but I'm not too sure what the future holds for me at the moment, but you never know. Back to this tournament, all eyes are on Bo and Makuru. There's the, the outright favourites and everyone talking about them. Do you feel that you can cause an upset here? I can definitely try. <laughs> I'll, work my, I'll work hard to, to get there, but I can definitely try. I think my, my best game's up there, so we'll just see how it goes. Sorry, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for that. Cheers for that.